Hello class, it's Ms. Augustine. We're going to do some practice calculations today uh, using representative particles. And so we're going to go from moles to particles and from particles back to moles. So what is a mole? A mole, recall, is uh, the amount of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of particles. And Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And what do I mean by representative particle? Recall that a particle would be atom for elements, the particle would be molecules for molecular compounds, and the particles would be ions for ionic compounds. So looking at our mole roadmap, I highlighted here that we're going to be going back and forth between particles and moles and our conversion is again 1 mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles or pieces. So the first calculation will be going from moles to particles. Given 2.50 moles of oxygen, how many molecules does this represent? Our conversion fact, 1 mole of oxygen has 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen. So to calculate the number of moles of oxygen, starting with our given like we always do, given 2.50 moles of oxygen times our conversion fact, and right here is our conversion fact. I like to point out that since we started with moles of oxygen, our conversion fact has to have the unit that we want on top, molecules, and the unit that we're getting rid of, moles, in the denominator. That way it cancels out. So let's go ahead and cancel out moles of oxygen divided by moles of oxygen goes away. When we plug it into our calculator, we get this number, 1.505 times 10 to the 24th molecules. Looking back at our given, our given had three significant digits. I've underlined the third significant digit, recalling that we always begin counting from the left, and we count across. We have to look at the number that follows our last significant digit. In this case, it's a 5. The rule says 5 and above, you'll give it a shove. So we'll end up with our answer of 1.51 times 10 to the 24th molecules of oxygen. So if I give you 2.5 moles of oxygen, that's the same as me giving you 1.51 times 10 to the 24th molecules of oxygen. So we first went from moles to particles, now we're going to go from particles to moles. Particles to mole calculation. Given 3.2 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen, how many moles does that represent? Recalling one mole again is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So in order to calculate the number of moles, we're going to always start with our given. And here our given is 3.2 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Our conversion fact here again has what we want, moles of oxygen in the numerator, what we're getting rid of, molecules in the denominator. Let's cancel out our units. Molecules of oxygen divided by molecules of oxygen cancels out. It equals 1. When we plug it into our calculator, we're going to get this number right here, 0.5315 moles of oxygen. Looking at the number we were given, it only has two significant digits, so I've underlined the second significant digit. We always have to look at the number immediately following our last significant digit. It's a 1. What that means then is that we let it go, five and 4 and below, you let it go. So then our answer in this case is going to be 0.53 moles of oxygen. So again, if you are given 3.2 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of oxygen, we know that what you've actually been given is 0.53, or slightly better than, half a mole of oxygen. And that's all for today. Hope this helped.